the closer you get to the front, the less motion you can do. I mean, you can't really move this part when you work here. Unfortunately, a lot of cellists do not use the frog because to use a frog meaning is only tongue. So when you play here, I cannot do too much of this because yeah, there will be no sound. So the combination of elbow, which I call cello lungs, how much air you want in the sound, and the clarity is what you create sound with. So if you play, for instance, Joe Shostakovich, If I would play it only with fingers, it would be just a dot. But Shostakovich writes a dot and a line. So for me, the line is my, my lungs. How much of it is up to your taste, but that's what creates a banana. Now, the secret is really, once you learn how to move your fingers, and once you learn how to support it with air, is to connect it with a jellyfish. That's the problem I find mostly. When people become tight in the jellyfish, in the wrist, and then it doesn't matter what you do, you're not free. So, if you look, for instance, like him or not, taste-wise, but if you look at Israelis, his videos, you'll see beautiful relaxation of the wrist. If you look at Andre Navarra, cellist from the past, there's a beautiful Schumann concerto on YouTube, you can see how this ballet dancing of all the motions, the fingers, the wrist, the elbow. So those three elements are really important. One of the uh, exercises, I think it's B5, is to play a Christmas song. A lot of the time in master classes, I'll ask cellists, very advanced cellists, to play it, and they would think I'm crazy, and they'll start playing be scratchy and what they'll do is they'll start vibrating but the scratchiness will stay there because they're not using the combination of air and clarity with jellyfish in between so on each string is different if I play it here I still need the clarity but I need more cello lungs more air if I go here I need much more air, because it's higher. But the attack is always the tongue. However, I will need more motion. If I play just fingers here, it's not going to be clear. That's for this melody. However, if I play... It's only fingers. I basically hang my hand on a chair and I just shake my fingers. Yeah, so... That's just fingers. The problem is when people play those pieces and start moving their arm. And after one page, you're dead. So, this is really important to understand when to use what. It's not one way to do everything, of course. Okay, it's the same as speaking, whispering, shouting, singing in big voice words or singing in big voice coloratura, just one note. That's very different. So one of them would be just air. Ba one of them would be, I love you so much, you know, I'll use my tongue, but it would be loud. If it's soft, I'll use less air. But the tongue is almost all, always there unless you're using one note. Yeah, if you just... No time, but if I, if I do, I would even on the C do a little bit of my finger. Now too. Yeah, so I always try to speak with the fingers while using the air. And your judge is, of course, your ears.